chop those roots up. This is a four by eight garden bed. And you can see I'm prepping it in about a minute. Folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're gonna show you how to turn that mess into, bam! The garden's getting out of hand, guys. Good morning, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Today, we're gonna show you our raised bed garden system, and we're gonna show you an interesting way and give you some great ideas on how to keep weeds under control in your garden. We're way behind, and we got work to do, so let's have some fun here on the Stony Ridge. I ain't Woo. afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. Afraid of life, times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you this well that you can kiss. All right, folks, good morning and welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. If this is your first time here, your 50 millionth time, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back here on the farm with me. These are our honeybees and they are rocking and rolling. It's early, early morning here. I say early. I've been up, I went and moved the cows, I fed the chickens. It's early morning, uh, about 8.30, and we have a greenhouse that we're going to be building pretty soon right here in this area so we can get our plants started a little bit early and so we can grow certain types of trees that we want to grow on the farm. You'll see that in a future video. The deer have figured out their way into the outside perimeter of the garden. They're starting to mess up my fruit trees. That's a plum tree right there. Now let's talk really quickly about the ecosystem here on the farm around our garden, surrounding our garden. So these are the chickens. These chickens receive all the scraps that I'm getting ready to pull out of these garden beds and they get tons of awesome forage. So they're allowed to come out of the coop when there is not a garden in progress. These are our raised bed gardens and we built these raised bed gardens. You'll get some footage right now now right off the sawmill. They're all made out of white oak, which should last for a good 10 to 15 years or so. But if they don't last, we've got a sawmill. We'll just mill up some more. Inside these is some topsoil that I built myself with manure and compost. No fertilizer is used on this, just chicken manure and compost. So we're gonna give you some awesome ideas for your own backyard garden. If you hadn't planted your garden yet this year, it's okay, you still got time, <laughs> for sure. And if you wanna plant something next year, this will give you some great ideas. So there are a couple ways that we're gonna be weeding the garden here, and I'm gonna show you some pretty cool tools, and I'm gonna show you ways to prevent weeds. Now we used Amazon boxes last year, and we covered up our garden with Amazon boxes, and that really, really helped cut down on the weed load here on the garden. Garden. This is one that we put Amazon boxes in and over here is another plant bed that we put Amazon boxes in. So you can see there's not quite as many weeds in these boxes and these are tomato plants. That one had Amazon boxes and compared to these there's a ton more weeds in there. So wherever you get your manure from there's bound to be a little bit of weed seed in there unless you go out and buy suggestion number one which is go to your local Lowe's or Home Depot or garden center and simply buy either potting soil, garden bed soil, or composted cow manure and I recommend composted cow manure over anything but I have access to a huge pile of wood chips that were brought here by the Asplund tree folks. So whenever the tree folks are working in the local area here, I always stop and ask them to bring that carbon back to the farm for me. That will help retain moisture. So will the composted cow manure. So will the topsoil or garden soil you can put in these boxes. So let's show you some pretty cool tools. We're gonna run grab the tractor, scoop up a little bit of this mulch, and we're gonna be mulching our garden beds today. recently cleared pasture and it is rough. <laughs> Guys, don't worry if you don't have a tractor, you can do this with a wheelbarrow or you can do this out of the trunk of your car, no problem. This field is beating me to death. Woo.
All right, guys, first thing we got to do is get in here and weed whack. If we don't do this and keep the weeds at bay around the garden bed, we'll be covered in little stinging and biting insects and potentially ticks. So the ticks are kept under control, typically by the chickens roaming through the garden, but we can't let the chickens out to roam through the garden right now because they will destroy your plants, peck your tomatoes, and destroy any fruit that comes on your plants. So we got a weed whack. Let's get her done. Clean up this area. So this ain't rocket science, guys. Let me show you what we're doing here. So this is called a stirrup hoe or a loop hoe. And what we do is we push and pull this through the soil and it helps to rip up all the weeds. Now we're pretty careful and we'll go by hand and we'll pull the weeds that are really close to the plants. And the next thing we use, this is just mulch or wood chips, okay? This will help next year's garden and <laughs> it'll help the soil and it will prevent weeds and it will hold moisture. So you can use wood chips, you can go and buy compost, you can go and buy anything you want to put on the soil, but what you're trying to do here is not only prevent weeds, but you're trying to build next year's garden soil. So again, this is just wood chips. I I have a local landscape crew that comes through and dumps all their wood chips, and that's biomass. Biomass is carbon. Carbon is soil. That's the building block of life, guys. So we've got to think. Bring more carbon to your soil. Now, as these wood chips decay, they are nitrogen robbing wood chips. In other words, as they decay, they will actually pull nitrogen from the soil and they'll actually make it a little bit more acidic. So sometimes you might want to get a little bit of garden lime and mix in with your wood chips or put down garden lime first and then put your wood chips down. Your pH of your soil is very, very important. I'll post a link down there in the video description to a pH meter and all you have to do is stick it in the soil and you can Google search any garden vegetable and find the appropriate pH for that garden vegetable and you can put amendments to your soil. I don't recommend chemical fertilizers. I seek out organic methods of gardening like chicken manure, like mulch, like cow manure, like horse manure. But you have to be aware if you go to a farm and you get horse manure or cow manure that that manure may be from animals that have consumed something that has a weed or broadleaf weed killer in it. So you've got to be cognizant of that. If you get composted cow manure in bags from your local farm store or your local uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or your local uh, landscape store, that's good stuff. That's awesome stuff. And it's pretty cheap. It's like two bucks a bag or something like that. Guys, post a comment down there how much you're paying for that stuff. So we'll show you real quickly how we do this bed and then we'll go over. There are some peppers growing in this bed. There are some tomatoes growing in this bed and we're gonna go up to the bed that has the eggplant in it too. We're gonna show you basically a total revamp in about five minutes of each one of these plant beds. Weed control is super easy if you stay on top of it in your garden. But like I just told you, beware of your sources. Right here, this is cockaburr. This is bad stuff right here. You can see the deer have been kind of nipping at that cockaburr. Cockaburr is something that comes from straw oftentimes. So when we first started gardening here, we took straw and spread it out. Straw is bad. Straw is not good. Straw contains weed seeds and straw will make your garden grow things like this guy right here, morning glory. That's bad stuff for a garden, okay? So we're gonna get in here, like I said, we'll hand weed around our plants, basically just rubbing around our plants. No problem there. Whatever weeds that might be left behind will be killed by the heat that is created and stifled by the lack of sunlight that's created by putting that mulch down. If you use composted cow manure, same thing. It's black, it's hot, it heats the soil up, it helps your plants grow, and it destroys the weeds. Let's get busy. If you've got really big weeds, you wanna pick those weeds out, pluck them out, and we throw those in the chicken coop. They make great eggs. If you've got small weeds like this, just use your lupo and you're slicing that up. Careful not to injure your beautiful little plants. We're gonna put a tomato cage around this tomato plant right here. Bend these straight, find the stalk, 
Stick this guy down, guide him up through. Be very careful. Do this after a rainstorm if you can, or early in the morning when the branches are a little softer. Just like so. Some of these might break off. It's okay, chicken feed. It just makes more tomatoes. And it's okay to prune back your tomatoes a little bit too. Number one is done. So we've got it all prepped up. We're gonna go ahead and lay in our mulch. We're gonna mulch it real thick in the middle and then spread it out. This is called a manure fork. That's what we're gonna use. You can use a pitchfork, manure fork, whatever you wanna use. Simply just spread this out few sticks they won't matter spread it right on out here this is gonna draw in some earthworms gonna be awesome that's a pepper plant the deer bit no more deer after this this is my deer fence I took the electricity off of it to see what would happen and that's what happened now I won't have to water this garden all summer long all summer let's go and we're gonna show you really quick how I use the Lupo to clean out a bed before we plant. We're gonna put squash in this, and then we'll go over here and show you one more time on some eggplant that's looking gorgeous. Again, Lupo, look at all the mess in here. Get that big one first, get him out of the way. Chop those roots up, just like so. This is a four by eight garden bed, and you can see I'm prepping it in about a minute. A lot of the reason why folks don't want to grow their own vegetables is because they think it takes so much time. How much time does this take? This is peaceful, guys. You don't need to be constantly stimulated all the time. Just build something, do something, be productive, make something, feed yourself. Even a squirrel can feed itself through the winter. Can you do it? That's it, prepped, ready to go for squash. So this is our eggplant bed and it looks like crap. Something's been digging in it. We're gonna fix that too. <laughs> so we're just gonna go in with the Lupo, clean it all up, be precise. Anything we need to get out, we'll just get it out of there. If you catch it in time, you catch it early enough. This is super easy. So folks, that is how you turn a garden bed 
into a showpiece. And you'll never have to water your garden all summer long. And weed control is gonna be super easy now because a weed pops up, we just simply pull it. Super easy, super beautiful. You can't complain about a garden that looks like that. So we went from a mess that looks something like this with grass and all kinds of stuff growing in our garden beds. And I encourage raised beds, guys, to something that's gorgeous, just like this. Not only will this encourage earthworms and microbes in your soil, it will also help to feed your soil and build your soil year after year after year, guys. No fertilizer, no outside input other than natural organic material. Thanks, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share your ideas. If you have any ideas, post pictures of your garden. I'd love to see what it looks like. Guys, we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I've got quite a few more beds to go, and I'm going to go put some shorts on. It's getting hot out here. Got some work to do. Thanks a lot, guys. Please get outside. Enjoy your garden. Enjoy your life. Take your kids out and show them where food comes from. It's important. It's important. See you next time. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife. Hey guys! Help me! Help me, Tom Cruise! I'm getting attacked by the chickens. See you guys!